Just about anything has a department in charge of it, but who's in charge of all these departments? Hello everybody, I'm Lavis, and the SCP I'm going to tell you about today is SCP-8592, the Department Department, Containment Class Euclid. Let's begin. Item Number SCP-8592 Special Containment Procedures Personnel who receive emails from SCP-8592 are to report them as spam and delete them. SCP-8592 has been integrated into the Foundation because it cannot be removed from SCIPnet servers. It's hypothesized that keeping it occupied with its self-assigned occupation is the best form of containment. Description SCP-8592 is the Department's Department a non-existent Foundation department operated by an unknown party. Mentions of SCP-8592 began appearing in official Foundation documents in April of 2016, but due to the number of Foundation departments it was listed with, SCP-8592 was not properly noted as a discrepancy until December, when it began sending emails to random personnel members. SCP-8592 is operated by an entity claiming to be a member of Foundation personnel, self-identifying as Department. There is no record of anyone under that name existing. The vectors that cause SCP-8592 to manifest are not fully understood, but as of writing, the only definite factor that causes manifestation is when any level of personnel begins a new research project. SCP-8592's behavior after its manifestation follows a consistent pattern. First, after beginning their research, personnel will receive an email from d.partment at scip.net. This email will be a ramble, with little to no grammar past proper capitalization of the department department and its email signature. The messenger will congratulate the personnel on its research endeavor and assign it to a new, also non-existent department as its head researcher. The department SCP-8592 assigns its target to is nonsensical, often taking an insignificant element of the research anomaly, naming a department after it, and acting as if this is a major undertaking or promotion. The personnel's SCIP net profile and official documents will be altered to add the SCP-8592 created department into their Responsibilities section. With the number of projects the Foundation undertakes monthly, SCP-8592 manifestation is relatively rare, with it only contacting someone in approximately one in every 1,000 new official research endeavors. The following is an example email. Hello brother. Hello, welcome to the department department. I am very happy to meet you. I am seeing here that you are investigating John, an incoherent man who makes milk in his mouth instead of spit. It is very hard work and you deserve a good job speech from everyone around you. We are very pleased to announce that you have been assigned to a new department for your good work ethics and research efforts. We saw on the John's intake file that he is bisexual and has a boyfriend. This is very cool and woke, and I promise that I am awake right now so you or John are not uncomfortable, okay? You now are the head of the Department of Bisexual Anomalies for research purposes. This is to make it easier on your life, my brother. With great power comes great responsibility. From Department, Chair of the Department Department. Addendum 8592-1 SCP-8592 Created Departments the following is an abridged list of SCP-8592 created departments. Personnel affected, Director Randall House. Anomaly being researched, reports and video of a physically impossible skateboarding trick at recent Las Vegas BMX event. Assigned department, the Department of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms. Personnel affected, Dr. Harold Blank. Anomaly being researched, the history of United States-based record labels, during which Taylor Swift was briefly looked into. Assigned department, the Department of White Women. Personnel affected, 054. Anomaly being researched, the corpse of 0513, which exhibits no signs of physical trauma or medical conditions. The corpse experienced complete cellular death without any discernible cause. Assigned department, 
Department of Murder, Bloody. Personnel affected, Dr. Greg Holmes. Anomaly being researched, sapient crows capable of human speech. Assigned department, Department of Murder, Clean. Personnel affected, Director Hector Varga. Anomaly being researched, an anomalous enzyme appearing in some felines, extending a lifespan well beyond what is considered baseline. Assigned department, Department of Garfield. Addendum 8592-2, Contact. Due to the Foundation's robust cybersecurity environment, an automatic ticketing queue filtered and deleted emails from SCP-8592. For this reason, contact with SCP-8592 was never attempted. As research progressed on this anomaly, it was decided that communicating with SCP-8592 could potentially develop more robust containment procedures. The most recent contact of 8592, Vincent Kinney, a junior researcher at Site-19, was permitted to reply to SCP-8592. The following is their email exchange. Hello, brother Vinny Kinney. Welcome to the department department. We are delighted to join you here today. I have attached my eyed for proof and help with any anxiety or fear is right there. Please look at your convenient. We are see here that you are researching for a hamburger stand that teleports from time to time. Yum. This is a very important job for an important man. Since hamburgers have no cheese and cows are evil, you have kindly been appointed head of the Department of Lactose Intolerance. Congratulations! It is a great honor. You are welcome. From Department, Chair of the Department Department. Hi, Mr. Department. I'm somewhat confused by this email. Can you please explain what is going on in more depth? Thank you. From Vincent. Attention, Vinnie Kinney. Oh boy, can I go in depth. I'll put it this way, so please kindly listen and do not interrupt. You are researching a hamburger stand, and hamburger stands sell hamburgers. I hope we can agree on that, my brother. The hamburgers are made of beef, but do not contain cheese, as it would be a cheeseburger. They put cheese in the name to clean up that whole kerfuffle. I have a hypothetical. Suppose a handsome man named John walks into his hamburger stand and says, Hello, please get me a hamburger. Now, if Tom gets a cheeseburger instead, he will be upset because he didn't get the hamburger he spent his hard-earned United States dollars for. Also, cheese is lactose, they say so in the science. Following? Back on Tom. If he gets his cheeseburger instead of a hamburger, I don't think Tom or anyone with a working brain for that matter will tolerate it. As the head of the Department of Lactose Intolerance, you can't stand it. Kindly take this matter seriously and please take up your post in your assigned department. From Department, Chair of the Department Department. Mr. Department, if we're getting this specific, wouldn't it make more sense to assign me to the Department of Teleporting Hamburger Stands? The Department of Lactose Intolerance seems insignificant compared to the anomaly at hand. Sincerely, Vincent. Vincent. You have been kindly and generously offered an amazing position of chair of a department, and you have spat upon my face and are bringing me to tear in my eyes with this department of teleporting hamburger stands nonsense. Please do not bring this up again. I would like to know what sick individual guy came up with this and poison your mind with this nonsense department. Please sincerely leave this department of naming and assigning to the department of naming and assigning, which is led by me and is run under the department department, which is also led by me. From Department, Chair of the Department Department. Mr. Department, speaking of, I've been interested in joining the department department as a junior researcher. Can you give me some of the qualities you look for in a prospective employee? Sincerely, Vincent. Hello, Vincent. I am very sorry, but you already seem to be very busy with the Department of Lactose Intolerance. It would making me just awful to put more work on your schedule, as this can lead to burning out and a visit to the psych ward. If you must be knowing, the department department is very sacred, and we only accept people who have trust and are nice, swell, cool dudes in general and often, like departments, are okay with my dog, she is named Debarkment, have at least 20 years of department experience. 
I kindly advise you to begin your work in the Department of Lactose Intolerance and take this seriously. From Department, Chair of the Department Department. Note, in the following email, Vincent was instructed to lie about his experience. Mr. Department, I feel that I fit these qualities. I have 25 years of experience heading multiple departments. I like dogs, and people always get along with me. Please, if there is an opening, I ask that you consider me. I feel I'd be a great help. Sincerely, Vincent. Hello, Vincent. I am looking at your file currently as I write this. Note, employee files are encrypted and require a password to access. How SCP-8592 gained access to these is unknown. Continuing. I hate nonsense and immaturity, and it is clear that you are a no-good dirty liar and illiterate. There is nowhere on your written file that says you were head of any department before I kindly and generously assigned you to the Department of Lactose Intolerance. Please do not lie to me again, or stop texting me, okay? I am writing this while I am reading your file. I am very good at multitasking it. It makes me happy to see that you are doing good work at the SCP Foundation with your researching anomaly and those that are like that. Your most recent assignment looks very interesting, and I don't believe I have read what it is you're studying in this research assignment, so I will do that now. Oh no. Goodbye. From Department, Chair of the Department Department. It's assumed that SCP-8592 saw Researcher Kenny's assigned research project on IT and ceased all communication with him as a result. Multiple attempts to resume communication with SCP-8592 were attempted, but all were fruitless. Following this, SCP-8592 entered a standard dormancy period. Three weeks later, Kinney received another email from SCP-8592, which reads as follows. Hello there, Vincent. It is very nice to meet you. We see here that you are doing very interesting research and welcome to the department department. You are a very strong man who deserves to be recognized for his hard work and fortitude, my brother. We are happy to report that the Department Department has assigned you two to the Chairman of the Department of the Department Department. This is your job now. Thank you and goodbye. Please kindly do it well. Good luck. From Dan Partment, Chair of the Unemployed Department. Researcher Kinney's personnel file was updated to include the Department of the Department Department and the Department Department as responsibilities. Since then, Emails sent by researcher Kinney have seen a 23% uptick in spelling and grammar errors. Thanks for listening. If you like that video, maybe you'll like this one too. Have a nice day.